suppose a block is resting on a surface. The weight of the block will be acting vertically downwards. Normal reaction will act perpendicular to the surface. Now the question is whether this normal reaction and Mg form an action reaction pair. So do they form an action reaction pair? No, they cannot be an action reaction pair because they are acting on the same body. An action and reaction must act on different bodies. So which force is the action reaction pair for this Mg? Which force is the action reaction pair for this Mg? You must understand that this Mg is acting because of the earth. If the earth were not there, this force would not have been there. So the action reaction pair for this Mg is the force exerted by this block on the earth. Now that will also be equal to Mg. The earth is pulling the block with a force equal to Mg. As per Newton's third law, the block is also pulling the earth with an equal and opposite force, Mg. And these two forces form an action-reaction pair. Suppose we look at the sun and the earth. The sun is pulling the earth with some force. The earth is pulling the sun with an equal and opposite force. Both the forces are exactly same. They are a Newton third law pair. But the acceleration of the earth is more compared to the sun because the mass of the earth is less. The so acceleration of the earth will be this gravitational force by mass of the earth. Same way acceleration of the sun will be this force by the mass of the sun. This is much bigger compared to this, so the acceleration is much less compared to this acceleration. But the forces are exactly equal and opposite as per Newton's third law. Same if you look at this duster. The earth is pulling this duster with some force. The duster is pulling the earth with an equal and opposite force. But since the mass of the duster is much less compared to earth, the acceleration of the duster will be much more if I leave the duster and allow it to fall towards the earth. The earth also will be having an acceleration, but that will be very negligible because the mass of the earth is much more. So this force is an action-reaction pair to this force. Now which is the action reaction pair for this normal reaction? Let us look at the surface on which the block is resting. Because the surface is exerting a normal force in the, on the upward direction on this particular block, this block will exert an equal and opposite normal reaction on this surface. And this normal reaction and this normal reaction form an action-reaction pair. So two gravitational forces form an action-reaction pair. Two normal reactions form an action-reaction pair. Now let's try to make this problem a little bit more interesting. So you got a wedge like this. So the mass is now in dash. Small m is resting here. There is a string connecting this to a pulley. A mass capital M is hanging here. Our job is to find capital M such that small m remains at rest with respect to m dash. So how can we do that? 
Now obviously in this kind of system, this will accelerate down, this will accelerate to the right. Okay, let's try to solve this problem by taking an inertial frame of reference. So our observer is here. Now, the driving force here is this mg. And the total mass is m plus m dash plus m. So acceleration will immediately become equal to mg by m plus m dash plus m. Acceleration then driving force by total mass. So simple. Now, let us draw the free body diagram of small m. Remember, our frame of reference is inertia. Our observer is here. So this is exactly like what we did earlier. Mg is acting now. Normal reaction will act this way. This will have two components. This is m sin theta because this angle will be theta. This angle is again given to us that is theta. This will be m cos theta. Acceleration is in this direction. So m cos theta becomes equal to mg. m sin theta becomes equal to ma. Exactly like the equations we got earlier. Equation 1 and equation 2. You divide 2 by 1. And again get tan theta equal to a upon g. So a will become g tan theta. This acceleration and this acceleration must be equal. Therefore, mg by m plus m dash plus small m is equal to g tan theta. Right? So, g cancels out. We can write this as m plus m dash plus m by capital M equal to cot theta. Right? Simple. So now we can cross multiply m plus m dash plus m equal to m cot theta. So we can solve for capital M. Capital M becomes m dash plus small m by cot theta minus 1. That's all. Very simple. Particle is moving with a desaturation alpha equal to k root v, where k is a positive constant. At time t equal to 0, the velocity is v0. After what time and distance will the particle come to rest? So deceleration is k root v. So acceleration, which is dv dt, that will become minus into k root v. We can write this as dv by root v is equal to minus k dt. Now we can integrate this equation. So velocity changing from v0 to 0. v to the power minus half dv. Minus k is a constant. Time is changing from 0 to t. Now when we integrate this function, the power increases by 1. So you get v to the power minus half plus 1 divided by minus half plus 1. And this is from p0 to 0. And this becomes minus kt. Now this is root v. This is half. So it becomes 2 root v. So time is 2 root v0 by k. We start again with the equation dv dt is equal to minus k root v. Now dv dt can be written as dv dx dx dt by chain rule of differentiation. So this becomes minus k root v. Now this itself is v. So you get this v into dv dx is equal to minus k root v. 